Good morning, everyone. This is Brad Matheny. Today is the 27th of June, and we're continuing on with my SPY cycle patterns. These are the cycle patterns. Wanted to show you what we're looking at. Um, yesterday, we had, we're down here, we had the breakaway and counter trend mode, which was rather muted. I'll show you that on a daily chart. Today, we have the carryover taking place in carryover trending. Uh, notice that we are in uh, negative biasing mode here on daily and negative biasing mode here on weekly. We are moving into bullish trending. We have the crush pattern to contend with on Friday, which is in a trending mode, which so far I believe is going to be to the downside. Then we move into rally, rally, in a counter trend, then a trending mode. This is very early into Q2 earnings. We move into carryover and carryover mode, then inside breakaway, then momentum rally on Friday. <clears throat> then we move into a gap up lower top, which is kind of a rotational uh, weekend. Remember the S&P doesn't trade on the weekend, but I still read these like for example here, crush, flat down, breakaway rally. To me, this means that the crush is a pattern, which is normally a big down day, leads to a, a resettling on Saturday, flat down, <clears throat> leading to potential trending. That's what breakaway is in a carryover mode, leading us to rally, rally, carryover. Remember, this first rally is in counter trend mode. So where we're at right now with the carryover, um, if we come over here and we take a look at this daily chart, come down here. Okay, shrink this a little bit. You look at where we were at yesterday with the daily chart. Here was my expectations. I thought the breakaway would carry us up into this area. Now we're looking at a carryover. So in reality, ladies and gentlemen, you know, if I spread this out, come back in here, we're really looking at, uh, that's that, we're really looking at a potential here to move back up into 547, 548, maybe 549 uh, today, possibly moving us up into this area right here um, on this uh, carryover in carryover mode. You can see the momentum that we have here. You can see the basing and the bottoming that we have. We're coming very, you know, very strongly potentially to the upside, maybe into this, you know, I would guess that, you know, 547.50 would be a pretty solid target number, maybe a little higher. Uh, and then we move into the uh, crush pattern. So that's this Friday's crush pattern here. So uh, SP right now is at 544.99. We typically have some news on Thursdays. Uh, real estate was yesterday. Normally jobs come out today. Um, I, and we have, of course, the presidential election uh, uh, debates today. I think we're going to see some pretty good trending today. And I would suggest the 547 uh, level would be a fairly solid level to look out for. Uh, again, if I come back here to 30 minute, sorry, my mouse is a little slow today. Um, and spread this out. I would be looking for a move pretty much like this. So I, depending on how we open, I'm assuming we're going to open somewhere in this area. I would be looking for kind of a melt up move, maybe a little higher, moving sideways, and then potentially trying to find some support coming into the end of the day. So that's kind of where I think we're going to be. I'll make this a yellow color. This was uh, yesterday's expectation here. I'll make this kind of a, a darker yellow. And of course, this was the day before's expectation. I'll make this kind of a dark orange. So you can see where we're at. I expected yesterday to move quite a bit higher. We did have some momentum. It's just it never really followed through. So today, I think we're going to get some follow through to the upside. And I think you're going to see a nice little rally up above 547, 547 and a quarter. Um, I was asked to do the same type of prediction for the QQQ. So let me pull up the QQQ here. 
Now, remember, the SPY cycle patterns predict the same type of data for uh, the QQQ, meaning that this is 30 minute. So understand, I come back here to daily, come back here. We can't tell what the QQQ is going to do based on this SPY cycle pattern, but we can tell we have a carryover, a crush, a rally, rally, and that gives me an idea that, uh, again, if I don't know exactly what the QQQ or the NASDAQ is going to do, I can presume, again, I'm going to draw vertical lines, okay, so I'm going to draw a vertical line here, uh, and this is going to be my carryover, this is going to be my crush, And this will be the weekend. Uh, and then we get into our counter trend rally, which I think will probably be a bit like this. And then we get into our rally mode, which I think will be a bit more like this. And then let's go take a look here. Once we get rally, rally, we get into carryover, inside breakaway and momentum rally. So we come back over here and we get into a carryover trade which will probably be a bit like this maybe retesting these highs then we get into a uh an extended breakaway probably taking out that high and then we get into a momentum rally mode probably moving up here so if i were to color these effectively representing general trend bullish bullish fairly neutral sideways bullish general bullish general and again i'm doing this visually bullish reversal so i'll make this kind of a darker greenish blue uh, and this is our crush pattern here so Again, if I'm taking a look at this, knowing where we have with this rotation, you know, I can, you know, fairly easily take a look at this low coming up to this high and determine that I have very strong support in the 382 to 50 area right over here. Okay, I teach this in my videos all the time. And I'll just change the color here. Now, I do the same thing, essentially, from this rotation downward. So I'm going to come down here, assuming that we are not going to make any new lows. Take a look at this. And then I have resistance between 382 and 50 right here. You can see we've already moved above the resistance, right? Can't see that. I'm going to highlight it here in a minute. You see this bar? We've already closed above that resistance level. So again, spreading this out, dragging this here, making this bigger. You can see that we're holding up above this critical support. And we have moved a little bit above right here, this resistance area. We need this to continue. I think we get a little bit of upward move today and some downward rotation here. So if I were to come back to the 30-minute, the and uh, take a look at where we're at with this. So here we're at, here's my drawings going forward, and I'm gonna just draw what I think is likely to happen. Remember, I could be wrong. I'm just telling you what I think is likely to happen is we're probably gonna see a rally into the day, stalling out, moving into a crush pattern, which could come back down, retest these levels, move back up maybe into a squeeze on Friday, move up into Monday, move through rotation, up and up. Potentially like this. So understand now that when we get into this area, why is this area acting as a support resistance area? It's because we already have that support resistance mapped right here. We're gonna be waffling around this area and depending on how high the market gets in this area here, so assume we get to this level, okay, we're going to come back down to our 38250 area, and we're going to look for support. So understand that puts 
a solid support level right here. Now, why is this important? Well, watch how this plays out. If it rolls up, establishes a high here, then our support level comes right into where I've drawn price. And this is what I do. I kind of draw things like this um, because I see it happening. And this is Fibonacci price theory working, uh, you know, efficiently through price trend. If we happen to get a little higher, okay, maybe so. Then our support level will be just a little bit higher. But it basically means that the QQQ is going to rally potentially up to the 482.50, maybe a little higher, then come down on Friday, maybe trying to retest support around 478, uh, and then roll into a moderately upward trend, attempting to break above this high, probably somewhere over here on Thursday or Friday of next week, headed into real earnings. So there's your kind of outline for the QQQ. I think we're going to have a pretty solid update. Maybe leading into a bit of a sell-off into the end of the day today, leading to the crush pattern tomorrow. And then, of course, we do have the 4th of July, which I forgot to take off. That's next week. 4th of July is the inside breakaway. So this is going to be here. Uh, inside breakaway 4th of July is Wednesday or Thursday It's Thursday. So we'll get rid of this as a holiday. And then this pattern really works its way as Thursday and Friday. So, um, just maybe I'll carry this around like this. So this is going to be Thursday and Friday, maybe extending a little higher. Okay. That's your outline for the next couple of couple of days with the SPY cycle patterns on the SPY and the NASDAQ. We'll see how this plays out. Like I said, NASDAQ probably reaching uh, 482.50, maybe a little higher on this QQQ chart. Then tomorrow looking for support around 480, 478 to 478.25, maybe 478.50, then a solid rally phase taking over. Watch for downward squeeze today and an upward squeeze tomorrow as price rotates. And then, like I said, next week leading into the 4th of July, get ready for some sideways trading. And then I think you're going to see a very big explosion uh, as uh, upward, a good size move here. I mean, look at this. This is potentially from here to here. It's about one, one and a half percent higher on Friday, possibly of next week for the QQQ. For the SPY, we come over here and we've got the same kind of an outlook. Probably going to get up into this area here, yellow, then roll down into this area here, 542, a little bit more volatile, and then roll back to the upside. We'll see how it plays out, guys. Remember, I'm just showing you how to try to plan your trade. You've got some opportunity over the next day or two. Then we got this base and a nice little rally upward. But right before the fourth year, guys, you got to be aware we're going to move into sideways, very quiet trading uh, on the end of the day of the third, maybe even most of the day. So be aware that, um, you know, you may see very light volume on at the latter half of the day on the third. Okay, guys, that's it.